Welcome back to Imagine Travel 24-7. In previous episodes, we've talked a lot about why Colombia is a wonderful country for an expat. But in this episode, we're going to talk about the how to live in Colombia. Almost every country in the world requires visas for long-term stays, usually more than six months or so, and Colombia is no different. And there are a lot of different visa types available. I get a lot of questions, people asking me how it's possible to come and live in this wonderful country. So today we're going to talk a little bit about that. So come with me and let's go explore some of the different options that you have to come and live in this beautiful country, Colombia. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Imagine Travel 24-7. I'm Sam and today we are talking about how you can come to live here in this beautiful country, Colombia. If you're a subscriber to Imagine Travel 24-7, you've heard me say a million different reasons why it's a good idea to come and live in this beautiful country. I can make a list about 20 kilometers long, cost of living is better, different political system, it's absolutely beautiful, learn another language, experience the culture that is just fascinating with every footstep that you take, and it goes on and on and on. But it's important to think about how it's possible if you want to do this. I'm a big proponent of travel and especially living abroad and there are a lot of different ways that you can come here to live in this country. We're going to talk about some of the most common ways and the ways that are most likely to pertain to you. We are starting here at the church because this is one of the ways that you can come to live here in this wonderful country. Yes, if you get married to a Colombian national you are eligible to apply for a visa to stay in this country. Now the process is not very hard. It's basically all done online through Migración and you just need some supporting documents to show that your marriage is legitimate. It's been legitimized in your home country as well as here in Colombia. And uh, you need some family photos and some pictures of you traveling together just to prove that your family is legitimate. The process is relatively easy. It takes about three months or so. Don't be surprised if it gets returned to you and they ask for more information. You don't need a lawyer for this process, but if you would feel more comfortable hiring a lawyer or abogado as they're called in Spanish, Spanish, there are plenty of them available to help you along with this process. You can just simply go to the Migración Colombia website and get all the information that you need to apply for this visa. I will put a link in the description down below. We are here in the Plaza Los Libertadores, and we are here because of this beautiful church behind me. Now this happens to be a Catholic church because Catholicism is the dominant religion here in Colombia. But I am here because religious affiliation is another reason you can apply for a visa to come and live in Colombia. So if you are part of a religious organization, then you can apply for a visa to come here and live. Now it doesn't have to be Catholicism. Colombia is extremely free on religious expression. There is also a large Mormon population here in Colombia. And there are a lot of other religious organizations here in Colombia. So if you belong to a religious organization and you want to live abroad, then you can apply for a visa here in Colombia exactly the same way as all the others by going to the Migración website and uh, just filling out the applicable paperwork. Also, it's important to remember with all these visas that you need to prove somehow that you will be financially stable while you are in the country. Another type of visa that you can qualify to apply for is a real estate visa. If you invest in real property here in Colombia of 290 million Colombian pesos or more, which at the moment is about 83,000 US dollars, then you can apply for this visa. And there are a bunch of different kinds of houses and apartments available in Colombia that qualify for this visa. Everything from a normal US style house out in the suburbs to some houses like this and apartments all qualify 
for this real estate investment visa. If you're at that point in your life where all you want to do is relax in your garden and drink beer, there's a visa for that also. There's a visa for retirement here in Colombia. And all you have to do is prove that you have some pension or equivalent retirement income of 2.9 million Colombian pesos, which is around 715 US dollars at the moment. The legal requirement for this is that it is three times the minimum wage here in Colombia per month. So as long as you have that kind of money coming into your account and you can prove it, then you qualify to apply for the retirement Colombian visa. Colombia is the number one exporter of flowers from around the world. So they have some of the most beautiful flowers in the entire world. Also, I have eaten some of the most exotic fruit that I have ever eaten in all of my travels here in Colombia. So if you're into gardening and you just wanna relax in a more exotic location, I think you'll have plenty to do here and plenty of new species to discover. Now, if you're at the point in your life where retirement isn't really an option, that's okay because Colombia also has a work visa program. Whenever you get hired with a Colombian company, they will help to sponsor you to bring you to this country and apply for the visa. The way I understand it is the company needs to provide some bank records that show that for the previous six months, their bank account averages 83 million Colombian pesos. Now, I'm not sure exactly why they ask for this information, but possibly it's because the government wants to know the company is capable of paying you for your services and you are able to support yourself when you arrive in the country. But again, I'm not 100% sure this is the reason. Companies are perfectly able and willing to hire foreigners to come here and work, especially English and Spanish language speakers. If working or being retired aren't really your speed, then there's also a student visa. You can enroll in a Colombian school and then they will help to sponsor you for a visa to stay in the country for the duration of your schooling. All that you really need to provide for the student visa is your enrollment certificate and some bank statements or financial records to prove that you can finance yourself while you are in the country. So relatively straightforward and typical of most countries who offer student visas. But I think Colombia's is a little more flexible, especially for students from the US who want to come here and study Spanish or culture. Welcome back to the house. That was a short dive into just some of the ways that you can come to live in this wonderful country. If you're from the US, you can get a visa on arrival when you land at the airport in Bogota. This visa is good for 90 days and you can extend this visa for an additional 90 days online or at a migración office. Now this is just like a tourist visa or a visitor's visa and it's good for up to six months if you extend it. If you want to live in the country for longer than six months then you need to apply for one of the visas that we talked about today or one of the many other visas that are available in Colombia. All the information that you need to apply for the visas is on the Migración Colombia website and I've put a link to that in the description down below so that you can look at all the different options. All the visas have different requirements but they are all pretty straightforward and I think that you should be able to do this on your own. If you want to talk with a lawyer or an expert, there are a lot of different services and a lot of different lawyers that are willing to help you with this and the price is not outrageously expensive. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please give it a like. It really helps the video become available to more people. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so that you can be the first person to know about all of Imagine Travel's new content. And in the future, some special prizes and some giveaways. As always, wherever you are in this magnificent world, keep smiling, keep traveling, and we'll see you next week on Imagine Travel 24-7. Ciao.